Okay, another related rate question. Here we have the sides of equilateral triangle are increasing at a rate of 10 cm per minute. And we're going to find out at what rate is the area increasing when the sides are 30 cm long. Well, two pictures, of course, right? So the first picture is my original equilateral triangle. And we know that all the sides will be the same. And the sides are changing, so let me put an X for everybody like this. You can put an S, but X is easier to write. Anyway, the next picture is going to be a bigger equilateral triangle, like this, because all the sides are changing, right? So as you can see, I will have to label them with variables like this. And now, let's put down what we know. Well, it says the sides are changing at this rate, and according to our picture, that will be dx dt equals 10, like this. That's very nice. And what do we want to know then? Well, we want to find out how fast is the area changing. So that's just dA dt, and of course A is the area of the triangle. And more particularly, it says when the sides are 30 centimeters long. So I will have to say when x equals 30. So this, again, at the instant. This part is really important as well. And now we need an equation for the area of the equilateral triangle. Well, let me tell you, a is equal to square root of 3 over 4 times the side, which is x in our case, to the second power like this. And why is this true? Well, let's do a quick proof right here. When we have a equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same. And I will just make the vertical cut like this. And as we can see, this portion is going to be x over 2, like this, right? And now you have x over 2, x. So I need to figure this out. To figure this out, I will just take the square root, and then I will just do the hypotenuse, which is this, which is going to give me x, and I have to square that, and then I will have to minus this side square, which I will just put that down in your parentheses, x over 2, and then square that. And of course, we can work this out. This is the same x squared minus x squared over 4. So it's like 1 minus 1 over 4, which is 3 over 4. And don't forget the x squared term. So we have 3 over 4 x squared. And this is still inside of a square root. Do the square root. Square root of 3. And then square root of 4 is 2. And then square root of x squared. Of course, we take the positive, so we have that. Now, the area, of course, we need to get 1 half times base times height. 1 half is the 1 half. The base of the original triangle is x, right? So we have x. And the height is this. That's why we need to find that, which is square root of 3 over 2 times x, like this. We'll multiply this out. This times that is square root of 3. This times that is 4. And x times x is, of course, x squared. So that's the idea for that. OK. With this being done, let me just write this down. a equals square root of 3 over 4 x squared, like this. Of course, do our derivative so we can get our rate equation. The left-hand side is exactly dA dt, and that's exactly what we're looking for. For the right-hand side, first of all, this is just a constant multiple. I will just look at x to a second power. Bring the 2 to the front and minus 1. Square root of 3 over 4 times 2 is just going to be square root of 3 over 2, right? And then we have the x to the first power. And don't forget the dx, dt, like this. And now we just have to draw in the numbers. We can see that square root of 3 over 2, and the x value is 30. And dx, dt is 10. So we have all this. Well, just multiply this out. 2 and 30 you can reduce, which is 15, and you get multiplied by 10. So altogether, we get 150, and we have the square root of 3, like this. And its rate for the area, so the unit is centimeter square per minute. So just put this down, and uh, this is it.